Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video to discuss alpha-gal syndrome or AGS. This is a common um, allergy that develops after a tick-borne infection, a tick bite that often results in Lyme disease. <clears throat> in my specific case, um, I did videography work um, many years ago at Fort Pickett and was bit by a tick and contracted Lyme disease as a result of that. I had actually not been consuming um, meat products prior to that, but I did notice um, a significant um, reaction to it after that, um, in, in just the smell of it would completely turn my stomach. Um, I had a visceral like um, tendency to want to vomit if the smell was near me. <clears throat> the reason that I wanted to bring this up is I'm of the opinion that people are going to do what they want to do. They may adopt a plant-based diet, they may not. It's really completely up to them. But what I have a problem with is someone trying to dictate the food that I can have in my own home, knowing that I have a visceral response to it where it makes me feel ill. I don't want to have those items in my home. And when I feel like I'm being uh, coerced by other people to have those items in my home, I am offended by that. I'm upset by that because it feels intrusive, it feels unnecessary, and at some level it also feels like interference with um, medical self-directive care. So I would just like to say that if there are people outside of my knowledge or people that even are, you know, within my sphere of influence that are taking steps to try to dictate, to try to dictate and control aspects of my life, which include things uh, that they are trying to dictate that I bring into my home. I just want to say that you need to get a life. You need to uh, focus on yourself. You need to not worry so much about what I'm doing and turn that focus back around because the, f the mere fact that you would want to micromanage what I choose to consume or what I choose to bring into my home, that alone indicates that you really don't have a whole lot going on in your life. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, figure out what your priorities are, figure out what your morals and ethics and values are, figure out what's best for you in your medical care, but leave me the hell alone. God bless.